The next scene is Dealer's Choice by Patrick Marber, with Jason Sugars as Sweeney, Luca Pusciutti as Muggsy. Uh, I know I'm mispronouncing that. <laughs> Sweeney is a chef and Muggsy is a waiter, and they've been working together at the same restaurant for the past seven years. It is three months since Sweeney's missus walked out on him, taking Luis, their five-year-old daughter, with her. Muggsy, according to his boss Stephen, is a halfway. Two men, Stephen, his son, Carl, and other male staff members meet once a week for an all-night game of poker at the restaurant. This scene opens the play. Dealer's Choice by Patrick Marber. the lottery. Oh yeah. He leaves home at street. Eight million quid. I reckon he bung you off yeah? Nah, he's a singy bastard. He bought a Ferrari, take his old trotty mum out for a spin. Except he's up some bricks now. Kidnick the wheels. What I could do with eight million quid. Lose it. Yeah? Cool. Heads. Bollocks! <laughs> Business as usual. He has win. What do you think? Vote today. 30 quid. Mm, very nice. Yeah? Mm, very beautiful. You're taking a piss. Mm. Ooh, rayon. What's rayon? Greek. A rip-off. They say it was silk. Is this rayon made of silk? All the time. Well, it's Stephen in. Yeah, it's next door. I got two words. You want to know why? No, not really. Yes, you do. You got to tell. <laughs> it's here, right? Forget you're dealing with a master of psychological nuance here. I can read you like the proverbial book. <laughs> And what preferable book would that be, then? The book has a cardio nuance. You okay for tonight? Nah, not playing. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not playing. Well, you got to play. If you don't play, we'll be for Randy. See, if you won't play for Randy, there'll be no game. I can't play. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> so, why can't you play? I'm seeing Louise. Louise? Louise? Who is Louise? My kid, you prat. I thought you missed it wouldn't let you see her. And I'm seeing her tomorrow, special dispensation. Tomorrow's tomorrow? You can play tonight? But I haven't seen my kid in three months. You could at least pretend to be pleased. Hoorah! You know, some dark night, a deaf, dumb, blind old age is going to spawn your child. A stupid, snivelling, scrawny, mini Muggsy. Then you'll understand responsibility. And what about your responsibility to poker? My Louise is more important, and I'm not turning up to her. Knackered, red-eyed, and stinking of booze. Don't drink, Dan. Look, I'm sorry if you your night, but that's the way it is. Finito. End of story. Yeah. Cheers. Supposing you win, you can bring her something special with the money. Okay. Madame Tussauds, the Chamber of Horrors. See? Media tortures to the ages. Children's loves that. She's five. Cool. Why'd you bother? Just cool. Tiles. Bollocks. <laughs> You see him, Carl? No. He says he's coming at six. He promised. <laughs> Mr. Reliable made your promise to me. He's okay. He's a ponce. He's not a ponce. How much does he owe you? 500. Mug. I scrubbed the debt anyway. He done what? Fair is fair. Can't have that with him, partner. Why are you banging on about? If you must know, mate, I'm banging on about a restaurant. Me and Carl are going to open a restaurant. French. Maybe Italiano. The point is, it pees over this place. You can open a restaurant. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yes, Muggsy. Oh, very witty. A restaurant with Carl. Stephen dotes on him. He's addicted to him. He will give us the money to get a start. <laughs> and once when we are up and running, we dump him. Oh, Stephen. No, Carl. We dump Carl. Your partner. It's business. <laughs> How you told Stephen about this? I'm waiting for Carl to soft him up. Of course, if you were to come and see the premises, if you were to come and express any interest, you may as well Stephen in our favor. I'm talking business, Win. I'll cut you in. Haha, <laughs> I'm okay, eh, Max? See you today, grab the nito. And get stung. Don't you want to be your own boss? <laughs> and I'll be my own boss working for you. Exactly. <laughs> you nipple. Oh. So where is this place? I knew you were, sir. I'm just making conversation. Yes, 
You're like the Invisible Man. Completely transparent. <laughs> he wasn't transparent. Of course he was. He was invisible. <laughs> the same as transparent. The Invisible Man was invisible. You can see straight through him. No, clean film is transparent. So? But the Invisible Man wasn't made of clean film. Of course he was. It's made of... Ah, oh, fuck all. So, where is this restaurant? My land. There aren't any restaurants in my land. Exactly. No one's got any money in my land. It's a shithole. Used to be a shithole. Now it's up and running. Say so. Luckily, say it's agents. All of them. And I'm research. They say it's high desirable. High desirable people are moving my lands in skip loads. <laughs> where in my land? My land road. It's virtually a motorway. It's a busy main road, granted. But that's good. Plenty of passing trade. So where in my land road? It's a secret. First rule of business, win. Money first, information later. The premises are in a secret location that I won't disclose until the ink upon the deal is dry. No, you've lost the plot. Look, I am the plot. It's more likely that Stephen will give us the money if you had a look. Rubbish. It's true. He respects you. Respects you too. Does he? Of course he does. You reckon? Of course. I respect him. And he respects you. He does. Doesn't he? Well, I will have a quick word with him now, so the German is mind. You do that, Marx. Good idea. You will see. Well, off you go, then. This is me, mate, going to make my fortune. Well, off you go. <laughs> How long have you been working here? Same as you, seven years. <laughs> long time, seven years. Did you? Long time to stay in the same place. You see, it's win. The world is divided between winners and losers, between men of visions and men of blindness. Some can stand the heat, other stays in the kitchen. I think you know what I'm talking about. Cool. Heads. Just leave it on the table. Bollocks! <laughs> <laughs>